oil. It drives our lives, literally and figuratively. Crude oil is what we call strategic commodity, meaning the countries that possess it will go to war just to keep it in their hands. Now, unfortunately, oil isn't always drilled and refined in the safest way possible. We're going to talk to you about fracking today. Fracking. Fracking has become a large part of the oil drilling community in the United States in the past decade or so. Um, companies will drill pretty deep into the Earth's crust, but with new technology, we can now drill horizontally and we're recovering large, very large uh, pools of oil under the ground. So large, in fact, that, that m most of the time it's not on one plot of land. And so companies are running into issues where um, they have to own a lot of land to, to drill and to frack. Jake, tell us a little bit about some, some big companies in South Texas, some big fracking and oil companies in South Texas, and just your position on fracking in, in general. Yes, in South Texas, there's many companies like Chesapeake Energy, Petrohawk, and uh, Gila Southern. They're all drilling right here in South Texas in the Eagle for Shale. Uh, because of the Eagle for Shale, Texas is, by this year, is going to become the ninth largest oil producer in the world, uh, surpassing countries like Iraq, Mexico, and Venezuela. And because of fracking, we've been able to exploit this oil and we'll continue to do so as America moves closer to energy independence throughout the 21st century. Um, I think that we need to continue to look for better renewable energy sources, but for now, with this abundance of energy in the Eagle for Shale and in the Bakken Shale in North Dakota, for example, which holds between 271 and 503 billion barrels of oil, we need to continue to use this oil as we move towards energy independence, but as well, we need to also move towards renewable energy sources. As Jake said before, America has abundance of natural resources that we have yet to tap into. Jake, can you tell us a little about these natural resources? I certainly can, Colin. Uh, America has abundance of natural resources, including you know, the sun, the wind, uh, biofuels. We need to continue to take advantage of these uh, natural resources. I mean, 9% of the energy we use is natural resources today. Now, as we move towards energy independence in the 21st century, we must continue to use these uh, natural resources in order to produce clean and efficient energy. Now, the means of solar and wind energy right now is not very efficient. We know that, but we're taking the necessary steps in order to make these ener energies a high priority in our energy agenda as we move throughout the 21st century. Now we're going to tell you some energy puns. What do you call a silly old man? A fossil fool. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, folks, because these jokes are fracking hilarious. So let me be clear. So let me be clear. Now let me be clear. Man wants to find a light bulb. Thought it was gonna be a power plant. How did Benjamin Franklin feel when he discovered electricity? Shocked. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> How many students does it take to change a light bulb? None. They're all bright enough to use for less than compact light bulbs that almost never need changing. You know why wind power is so popular? Because it has a lot of fans. Energy is key. What did the baby light bulb say to the mom light bulb? I love you, what to what? You know what happens when the earth eats too many beans? It has natural gas. Biofuels. You know those Reliant Energy commercials with Matthew McConaughey? I know he's a proud Texan and all, but so is J.J. Watt. Alright crew, jokes are over. Time to clean up. Thanks for watching, and let's move forward. Oh yeah.